Recently, a friend said to me, wait, you're left-handed? And I'm like, uh, yeah? <laughs> and he's like, of course you are. All the gays are left-handed. But is that rumor true? Watch this video for Left-Handers Day to find out if that and a whole bunch of other things about left-handed people are true or false or maybe somewhere in between. Even, even the name of this holiday is, is debatable. I mean, some websites say Left-Handers Day, some say National Left-Handers Day, Wikipedia, they say International Left-Handers Day. Uh, let's get started. 10% of the population, give or take a little bit, are left-handed. Did you know, though, that of the last six presidents, four of them were left-handed? That's a crazy sort of ratio when you consider that versus society. Now, Ronald Reagan is a little bit disputed. They say he was born left-handed, but that was back in the day where it was wrong to be left-handed. So it was like apparently drilled out of him. So he became a right-hander, but technically his nature is left-handedness. But like, wait, there was a time there was a bias against left-handers? Why? It was thought that lefties couldn't be trusted because they could shake their enemy's right hand while holding a sword behind them with their left. The animosity toward lefties can be seen in many languages. For example, in Latin, the word for left is sinister. 10% times 7 billion 125 million is 712 million 500,000. So you're talking about over 700 million left-handed people in this world, yet you'd be hard-pressed to find anything from scissors to musical instruments made for the left-hander. These biases have seeped into our expressions. For example, what's right is right, but what's left may be wrong, I guess. We have left-handed compliments. Why is it two left feet and not two right feet? Those who are left out of the party? So much negativity about left. Evil spirits are said to lurk over the left shoulder, which is why you throw salt over this shoulder to ward them off. Where is the wedding ring worn? on the left hand, which originated with the Greeks and Romans who wore them to fend off evil associated with the left hand. The act of getting out of bed on the left side is believed to make a person's entire day unhappy. I just wanna know what's considered the right side of the bed. Some people say it's from when you're standing at the foot of the bed looking at the bed versus when you're laying in the bed looking out from the bed. Ah. Do lefties have an advantage in sports? Yeah, if it's a sport where it's like two opposing individuals like boxing or tennis or baseball, you know, like going at each other because lefties live in a right-handed world. So we have to be just as good as the right-handed people in whatever it is that we're doing. And we lefties get to surprise the righties because you're not used to our pitches, for example. What's up with these studies, though? Left-handed people are more fearful. Really? This is based on one study. One. I mean, I don't think that's really enough, but the study showed, as seen here in The Telegraph, title of the article, left-handed people are more affected by fear. We scroll down, May 2011, this was when the study was released, and we have Dr. Carolyn Kruderi, who led the research at Queen Margaret University in Edinburgh, and she said the prevalence of post-traumatic stress disorder is almost double in left-handers compared to right-handers. Why do they say this? They freaking showed part of Silence of the Lambs to a very small control group, and left-handers apparently in this control group, these volunteers gave more fragmented accounts filled with more repetition than their right-handed counterparts. So then you go and you see this exact same study just got everywhere. Daily Mail, Business Insider, MentalHealth.co. I mean, everywhere online, this particular study is cited to prove that left-handers are more fearful. Shut the front door. Speaking of one study, one other study showed that the average left-handed person dies almost 10 years younger than the average right-handed person. What? 
All right, here we go. Right on top here in Google, when you type in left-handed people die younger, it already cites this study by Halpern and Corin, who took literally 2,000 people who recently died, they called their relatives, people who knew them, and they asked, were they right or left-handed? And it turns out the average left-hander died nine years before the right-handers. And this was cited and quoted by just a plethora of different websites. I mean, here we go back to, this was in 1991, we got the New York Times, being left-handed may be dangerous to life and all, and they're all quoting this one particular study, but here we are, psychologytoday.com in 2013, so that's what, 22 years later? They dispel myths and facts and whatever about left-handedness, and then number two, no, number three here, left-handed people die earlier and they say it's a myth and the basic reason as to why these people who died, who were elderly back in their time, being left-handed was, as I've already proved, it was wrong. So it was like conditioned out of them. So people who died, who may have been born left-handed, they appeared to be right-handed so their relatives didn't know if they were actually left-handed. Chris McManus, they say, has a really good analogy, and that would be, for example, if you spoke with the relatives and friends of Harry Potter fans who passed away, and you asked them, well, how old was this Harry Potter fan? And then they all happened to steer quite young. And then you would say, oh my God, research shows, study shows that if you're a Harry Potter fan, you're going to die younger than the average person who is not a Harry Potter fan. Do you see? All right, now let's talk about the gay thing, because I know that's what you really care about. That's why you're here. I mean, come on. We gays, we so trendy. All you want to know is who is gay, and now there's a whole left-handed component with this? What? Well, guess what? It comes down to one study. <gasps> what? Another study? Yeah. By three scientists from Canada back in 2000, and they said there was some kind of correlation. There's a thing happening with the gays and the left-handed, and I thought, well, that's really curious because I'm gay and I'm left-handed, and that might suggest some kind of pre-birth something or other. <gasps> However, then you go here to Wikipedia where they actually have a long list here of different studies in regard to handedness and sexual orientation, and it's so freaking conflicting you just really can't walk away with any kind of understanding. Studies! Why do people believe or trust them when it's one study? Let's wait until there are a few studies to perhaps corroborate such a claim. I mean, if a study comes out, then great, report it. But 10 years later, when there have been a whole bunch of other things refuting said original study, don't still be putting out articles and blogs and YouTube videos saying, quoting that one original study. Here we have New York Daily News. New study says studies are wrong. Back in 2015, just a year ago, a team of 270 scientists tried reproducing 100 psychology and social science studies that had been published in three top peer-reviewed U.S. journals in 2008, and guess what happened? Only 39% came out with the same results as the initial reports. I mean, this is hysterical. Happy holidays. I'll see you soon, my holies. I'm excited about it. Please subscribe to my channel for daily holiday shows and follow me on Snapchat where I get far more personal. And I just, I'm really having, I, I, today I learned on Snapchat how I can actually film a Snapchat video without holding the button down. I can do it like with no hands. I, I'm getting so fancy. All right, bye.